Hi, my name is Mark Griffin. I'm the founder and CEO of Play Rugby USA. I wanted to provide young people the opportunity that I'd been given as a kid playing rugby and specifically focus on providing that opportunity to kids that otherwise probably would never have that opportunity. About 75% of the kids in our programme would be in poverty and that causes a lot of different challenges that they have to face on a day-to-day -day basis. There's a consistent amount of stress for kids that are in poverty which does impact their cognitive sort of abilities and I think also their expectations. But also there's just things like general lack of opportunities, lack of adult role models, lack of support, things that we might not even think about but these kids have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Play Rugby USA helps tackle those challenges with the kids firstly by providing them with an opportunity where they can just be themselves and be positive and, in, and engaged and then run them through um, a couple of other phases so essentially they, they start to have fun then they start to develop a sort of team identity uh, with these other kids that they realize are peers and probably in the same situation they're in um, and then through playing the game they start to learn these values and these behaviours and also the athletic skills associated with rugby which ultimately form really positive habits and it's those positive habits we want the kids to have that enable them to maximise their potential for success both on and off the rugby field. Play Rugby USA has created something quite unique in what we call values in action and it's about how we can specifically coach the values to kids. Values in action is just a way of translating all these different sort of life values and sports values that kids can learn and putting it in a way that the kids understand what those behaviours mean on the field, ultimately off the field. Nah, we are... Two seven nine. We are... Two seven nine. My name is um, Coach Mike Rosario from PSMS 279. Um, so we were the first school in the Bronx to have the rugby. Many of my students uh, were failing classes and the whole community has just changed. The rugby, they have to have teamwork and they have to have the discipline of when they get flagged, they stop and pass that ball. They're motivated to stay on the team and they have to be disciplined in the classroom upstairs. Everybody is involved, boys and girls. And from the first year of rugby, I had 17 girls in the program and 10 boys. So I've always had more girls than boys. And the girls teach the boys the patience, big time. Usually those athletes are the leaders in the building. So if you have five players on the rugby team and they're behaving in the classroom, then the other students are apt to behave also. It teaches them that discipline. A lot of them have changed simply to be a part of the rugby team. Rugby really did change my life. It gave me, it gave me a different outlook. It gave me somewhere else to challenge my anger. It pushes you to want to get to your goal or get that try. I want a go forward goal for my sportsmanship. Go forward means no matter what, you just keep on trying. That's what it means to me. For me, play rugby has opened up doors that would have never been there in the first place. I'm so grateful for the people that put in all the hours, the long hours of hard work and dedicate their lives to make this possible for each and every one of us. Like, there's no place I'd rather be. What do you think of playing Rugby USA? We love it! Oh. So, rugby is life. The key thing is obviously positioning rugby as an educational solution which enables you to ultimately get to those 80 million urban kids in America that otherwise probably won't play rugby. And if America can get 80 million kids playing rugby, um, they're going to be able to compete against, not just compete against the best in the world, they can be the best in the world.